how to, and this is actually going to be a re review. Um, I just came back from teaching some yoga. It was a lot of fun, and I came home and I saw this, and I'm very excited. Uh, this is Blue Apron. I'm going to give it a try. Um, there's going to be three meals in here, and this is how it comes packaged. Okay, so it looks like it has just facts about um, different ingredients that are going to be in the recipes. And here's a, the recipe card with instructions on the back. Um, so we have in here, uh, it says seared salmon and green potato salad. So that's one meal. Uh, creamy lemon pasta with English peas, mint, and garlic breadcrumbs. And then last we have... Fontina and pesto grilled cheese sandwiches with a side of mushrooms and yams. So that's going to be interesting. Um, so this is how it comes packaged. Maybe come a little closer so you can see. So it's, it's sealed. And all right, let's see how it's packaged. Okay, so these are how everything's packaged. It looks like. Um, I think what they're doing is that there's layers in here, so I think maybe this is the layers for the first um, ingredient. Oh, actually, no, it's not. Okay, it looks like they just toss all the ingredients together, and then you have to go ahead and sort them out. And so far, everything's looking good. Everything's looking really fresh. All right, just double checking all of the ingredients. Oh, they even have bread for the toast. And then it looks like lemon pasta knickknacks. Wait, let me see what that means. Oh, okay, so in here it looks like these are for the lemon pasta. It's more of the smaller items in each of the bags. But it looks like everything is pretty much pre-measured uh, out for you and ready to go. Oh, good. That looks really good. So, so far, all of the items look in excellent condition and then um, of course there's the ice pack. So I'm going to go ahead and try one of the recipes today. I may not get to all three today but what I would like to do is um, try one out, tell you my reaction and then later tell you how the other ones came out. So I'm going to try the creamy lemon pasta first and then these are all the ingredients that are needed for it. And again, they're all pre-measured out, which is really nice. One thing I want to add though that I noticed is that a lot of these are, um, they're warm, like they're room temperature. Like I know there is an ice pack in there, like this one's a little bit cool, but everything else is, uh, is pretty much warm. So luckily I came home at the time I did, I think if it was left out longer, it might have been even spoiled. I mean, especially with fresh things like this. But, um, all right, so I'm going to give this one a try. Okay, so that was actually really quick to make. That's why I picked it first, because uh, pasta cooks very quickly, and so did all the other ingredients. So this is what it kind of looks like. I don't know if it's coming out very well, but um, it looks really good. It smells delicious. Uh, let's give it a try. Oh, wait. Ah. All right, so... I do. It's um to me I like things really garlicky and so on and I followed the directions on you know what how much garlic to put it in and so on. Um so that's just a personal preference. Like I like my pasta really garlicky and with the olive oil and so on. But um I mean even like this it's pretty tasty and I think that's actually you know probably a good thing that it tastes just like this so that if you want more garlic you could just go at it and just add more in there or um, you know if you want to add us you know like maybe some red um, pepper flakes or something like that I like that it's a very basic dish and that I feel like if you want to spice it up or like I said put more garlic or something like that you could definitely do that but even if you know some people don't like that kind of stuff I think this is actually really nice I'm I'm very um, I like it. It's it's a it's a good dish. Um, so one down, two more to go. Uh, I'm not gonna do the other two today, but um, I'll let you know how those turn out. 
Okay, so now I have made uh, seared salmon and green potato salad. So that's what it's supposed to look. And actually it looks pretty close to what it's supposed to be. And I'm gonna give it a try. So I'm gonna try the salmon first and I'll try with a little bit of the mustard reduction. Oh, that's good. That's really good. I'm very pleased with that. Okay. Mmm. And then let me try the potato salad. With the spinach. That's good, too. Alright, so... This is... Um, recipe number two of three and the first one was just okay it was a little bland but you could always add more seasoning this one is really good and uh, I just have one more to try all right so today we tried the third recipe which is Fontina and pesto grilled cheese sandwiches with uh, mushrooms and sweet potato rounds um, I actually didn't use the sweet potato rounds. Um, I just used regular potatoes. I was, was going to save the sweet potato for something else. But um, I don't think it will affect the taste that much. But this is what it looks like. And I'm going to try the potatoes with the mushrooms first. I never would have paired those. but Oh, that's good. I would have never put these two things together, but this is really good. Alright, and then here's the grilled cheese with the pesto. Oh, yeah. It is really good. Hold on. Okay. So there's three recipes. The pasta was bland, but like I said, like, Five million times already you could always add more seasoning the second one was really good too and i feel like this is the best like this was the best of the three it's so simple it's just a grilled cheese but it's more like grilled cheese but sneaking in some healthy stuff because there's arugula in here and almonds which i never would have put in a grilled cheese before but it's really tasty so as far as blue apron goes some good things are these <laughs> oh, in my mouth? okay thank you <laughs> okay so um these are really fast to make which i really liked now i've only tried one other box uh subscription box before and both times i used like a group on our living social i forgot which one but the other one uh was hello fresh and what i liked about that is that all of the items that go together were in one box. So you had three boxes for three recipes. And I liked how they were all contained in that sense because then storing it in the fridge makes it a lot easier. However, that's just like a minor thing. It's not really a big thing. Um, but I will say that as far as taste goes, it's really good. I mean, two out of three is pretty good. I mean, what is that? 66.66%? That's pretty good. I mean, like, I know that's actually like a D, but that's, uh, forget that. We're not in school. That's really, it's really tasty. Two out of three is actually really good. Now, normally I don't know how much they cost. I think it runs about $60. I took advantage of a deal, but I feel like these are good to try out. What's nice is that you always have the recipe card. So um, if you just want to make it again, it's it's right all there for right there for you. So anyways, thanks for joining us. I have, hope you have a great day. Bye. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe.